I'm going to try to describe how a German heating system works so that the next time that it's not working correctly, I hopefully remember. And I'm going to show you guys as well. Maybe this will help some of you guys. So let's have a look right here. This is the part that actually heats up the water. Here we have a really big buffer and over here is what they call the boiler. So this is a bit smaller and this has a different purpose. So let's start over here again. You've got here this display and the display is where you uh, do all of your settings. And here you see the buffer and you see the boiler. You also see what they call the kessel, which is the burner essentially. So how this works anyway, is first of all, you have something called the Heizwasser. The Heizwasser is the water that is heated up um, in order to heat everything else. So the, the heat water, uh, it is water that has been treated. They put some kind of chemicals in there to remove the minerals and stuff in the water so that it is a good clean water source. And that's what's being heated up. And that is what ends up here in this huge buffer. So it gets heated here, whoops, in this burner area. And the heated up water goes here through the forelow, through that pipe and heats up all the water there in that big, big buffer. And this is where it runs back for the root glove. So that comes back up here and uh, enters back up there in the top. So that is the Heitz Wasser. This thing is full of heated up water. Now, when you want hot water to take a shower uh, or whatever, that's when this comes into play. So you have down here from the mains, you got the cold water that comes into the bottom that gets heated up as you move upwards, of course, and it exits out of the top. This is the hot water that goes to your shower, for example, or to your kitchen. Now, how this gets heated up is that you've got the Heizwasser coming out of the buffer there, and it goes through this forelauf here, and it runs through a spiral you know, from the top down to the bottom and heats up all the water there in the boiler. There the Ruklauf is coming out of the bottom and going back up this way through that pump. That's how it's circulated and back down here into the Heights Wasser buffer. So far, so good. Now what you have is what they call a Heights Kreis or the heating circuit. So the heating circuit, what you need is some kind of set point temperature. So right now it's at 33 degrees Celsius set point temperature. If we go to the parameters, you can, of course, at the times, that's easy. Um, but then you also have to choose a room temperature during the day. This room temperature during the day is, is actually not 22 degrees. That's not what it is. Instead, what it is, is it references a diagram where they consider the outside temperature, they consider the set point of 22 degrees, and they actually send something higher than that, like 30, anywhere between 30 and 35 degrees Celsius into the Heights Kreis or the heating circuit. So in this case, if we set up 22 degrees, then what it's going to actually aim for is 33 degrees Celsius to get sent up into the floors. Now, if I would change that, to the default setting, which is 20 degrees. And considering that we have three degrees outside, then what it's gonna send up into the heating circuit is actually 30 degrees. Okay, so what do we have next? Next, you have to consider these things right here. So you got these thermostats. Okay, so this right here is what a room thermostat looks like. And this is responsible simply for the space here for example. So we got this set at around three and you can hear the relay click on, click off. Now in the bathroom, on the other hand, we got it turned all the way off. As you can see here, that's turned off. Now let's see what the valves look like. So these are what the valves look like. You can see that in the bedroom, we've actually got water flowing through the circuit and it's uh, it's a little bit warm. So what that means is because the thermostat is turned on to a value of three, we are actually sending hot water through the circuit. And you can see that these valves are open up a little bit too. Do you see that? You can see this red ring right there. So these two are actually um, regal right now or controlling the temperature 
of the rooms based on the thermostat, whereas this one is not. This is turned off. You can also see that the spring is all the way up on that one. So that one is for the bathroom and we got it turned off, which means that here it's also completely closed. There is no warm water flowing through there. And just in case you didn't know, the warm water, it flows through tubes here in the bottom underneath your flooring. Finally, another thing to mention is here is uh, the bar reading of our heating system. You can see we're at about 1.4 bar and the set point would be two bars normally. And where you fill it is down here. That's where you put water into the Heights buster. And where you gotta fill it from is this here. So that is, has got a Rooksperr ventile in there, which means, okay, this is actually the cold water coming in. So that comes from the mains all the way down to here. And this is what enters into the boiler at the bottom, but you don't wanna mix those two things. You don't, you don't wanna mix the Heizwasser, which is non-potable water, with your fresh water. So that's the reason that you gotta take it from this spigot here, because this spigot has an, uh, a Rooksperr ventile in there, meaning that the water can't go back up inside. Now, of course, it is the case that your fresh water should have a higher bar pressure, should be right around four or five bar, I believe. And that has got less bar in it, being at one and a half or two bar. But even so, you don't want to take any chance to mix the two. And that has been a law since I believe eight years that you need an automatische Rooksperr ventile in your fresh water system from which to draw the water. And one last thing, the technician told me that it's really complicated, but it wasn't always that way. It used to be like in America that you just had one thermostat in your living room or kitchen and a much easier or yeah, just more simple system. But you now need a separate thermostat in every room in order to save energy because energy is the, it's expensive and it is a, it's a resource. And so that is a reason that these things are different and more complicated in Germany. That is how a German heating system works. It's quite a bit different than in the USA and it's, it's quite complicated also. You have to consider all those factors and um, our heating system was not working for a while. And it took us a while to realize why. And in fact, the reason was because all of these valves here, you can see here, they're connected electrically and we had a leak here. So one of these was leaking water from the height spots or the heating water directly down, drip, 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 onto the top of the valve, shorted the valve out, which um, threw the breaker switch and therefore none of the valves got any electricity at all. And therefore, no, there was no flow at all through any of the floor heating of the whole house. So just another thing to consider. If your heating doesn't stop working, check your breaker switches. Check also the pressure. Uh, the house that we live in is, I don't know, maybe up to eight meters high or something. And so what they suggest is that this water in this circuit, it's got to be a certain um, you know number of bar, which means, okay, one bar or, or actually 0 0.1 bar can lift water up to one meter. So if the house is eight meters, we really only need one bar, right? Because one bar can go all the way up to 10 meters of lifting the water. That's how they explained it to me. So we do have that amount of pressure in the system but you can you can fill it up to two if you need to. Ours was leaking and it was going down, 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 down from two, down to 1.5, down to 1.3. Um, but I guess even one should work. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for some of you guys out there.